After the highs and lows of that last game, it was appropriate for both Dean Richards and Andy Robinson to join other top coaches, management and media at the Allied Dunbar Awards Luncheon to celebrate the heroes of the season. As expected, the top awards were divided amongst the top teams and the top stars. Manager of the season, Andy Robinson of Bath. The supporters, player of the season, Gloucester's Ian Jones. The young player of the season, Ian Balshaw from Bath. The international player of the season, Northampton and England scrum half, Matt Dawson. And the Ally Dunbar player of the season, Austin Healy from Leicester. It was a chance for both players and the media to reflect on another exceptional year of rugby. The best news of all is, from the Premiership point of view, is that you know there, there are these contenders and we, we're having this conversation. I mean, five years ago, there was only one team in it, and, or maybe two teams in it. And at least now we know that there's Leicester, Bath, and there's Northampton. Uh, you know, it, it's not a foregone conclusion anymore. So it's as simple as that. But you've got two great sides there, Leicester and Northampton. Two, two of probably the best club teams I've seen in 15 or 20 years. Bath are the most attractive team, the best young players, probably the best coach, the best team to, wa to watch. But when it comes to it, the, the, the league table doesn't lie and when you look at Allied Dunbar Premiership the team is the, that's at the top whether it's this year or any year is the team that deserves to be there because the league table does not lie Bath were best to watch Leicester won more games The Allied Dunbar league table does not lie and certainly the teams that qualified for Europe deserve their chance after another gruelling and exhausting season Equally, I think, nobody can deny that Leicester deserve their second successive Ally Dunbar Premiership title. But with a competition as fierce as it is, I wonder what the chances are of a third championship in a row. If you look at the likes of Honorable, who's come over, the guys such as Pichu, the guys that are coming from abroad are, are probably the, the, the cream. And, uh, and when you, you mix those with the guys that are here, you, you have a, a fast improving, fast game. Um, which I think offers a huge amount. Uh, and, and with sides buying in these sort of quality of players, I think it's difficult for one side to pro properly dominate in the league uh, as, as probably Manchester United have in, in, in soccer for, for as many years as they have. Uh, it's going to swap and change over the years. People are, and sides are going to fluctuate in their performances uh, purely because other people are bringing in better players all the time. But even as the Premiership becomes more competitive and the rugby even faster, harder and increasingly physical, the spirit of the game seems to remain constant. Long may that continue.